All right, I'm here with uh, interim head coach Ed Williams after a 15 to six defeat for the Lafayette men's team. Still a couple things you did well today after this one. What are some positives you could take from the loss? Uh, you know, I thought we um, we faced off better than we have in games past. You know, you know we came out flat. Um, I never thought we got off to a good start, you know, which is kind of tough to recover, you know, regardless of who you're playing. But, you know, we got to come back ready Monday, ready to work. And uh, just a great game in goal from Carbone. When a keeper's on like that, how can you try and get, get your guys at, in goal and really attack better? I mean, it's just, you know, Coach Beat and Coach Desco do a great job with the offense and preparing guys. And it's tough, you know, when a, when a goalkeeper gets hot, you know, he's making a lot of saves. It's, it's difficult for the offense. You know, I thought we did a nice job towards the end of the second half, kind of moving the ball and, and getting more opportunistic looks. Um, you know, it, it's something that hopefully you never see, but, you know, um, difficult to score when, when the goalie gets hot. So. And finally, five of your six goals came from the bench players. How important is really the whole team participating in the offense to your style of play? Uh, it's really important. You know, we have a kind of a philosophy of next man up, and you know, we think guys that are a lot of that can contribute. You know, across all the classes. You know, we think that um, guys work hard on a daily basis, and we want to give those guys opportunities to play when the chances arise. Um, ideally, not in this situation, but you know, it is what it is. Well, Coach Williams with three more games for Lafayette on the road and one last home game on April 20th against Colgate. Thank you for tuning in to Lafayette Sports Network. I'm Josh Sperber, and we'll see you for more Leopards action here on Lafayette Sports Network.